The Void Pro RGB wireless headset from Corsair has been my loyal companion for four months now, thus allowing enough time to lapse so that I can make this review without the thrill of unboxing a new toy to cloud my judgment. For four years, I have gamed with my friends through Discord on my cell phone using simple wired earphones so I could talk to them while my crisp 15-year-old Altic Lansing blared explosions into their ears. Yep, yep. Okay. What? Yeah, yes, I am that guy. Is it worth 5,000 pesos? I'm Rafael from Hardware Sugar, and let's find out. Ang video na to ay handog ni CDKoffers.com. Marami kang mahanap na iba't ibang uri ng software dito. May games, apps, activation codes for Windows 10. Check out our video on CDK Offers in the video description. Mabilis, mura, and syempre legit dito. Madali lang mag-order, search for the software you need, add to cart, check out, daan ka sa payment options nila, wala pa isang minuto, finished. May legit working CDK ka na sa software na pinili mo. Gamitin ang aming promo code para makakuha pa ng extra 20% discount sa purchase mo. Kung naghanap ka ng mura, legit, and original software, check out cdkoffers.com. I wanted this headset for two main reasons. First, the style looks like a stealth fighter which transformed into a headset. Second, and most importantly, it is wireless. I absolutely hate wires. Sometimes I feel that wires just breed more of themselves when I'm not looking. The microphone goes up and down, but it's not removable, and it isn't meant to be flexed into different positions. To be honest though, it feels brittle. Like I could break it off by accident if I am especially pissed off at a match. I would have preferred a removable option. The construction of the Void is a combination of rubber, hard plastic, and soft breathable microfiber mesh, all of which are merged together so as to create the theme of a matte black finish. There is, however, a white and black version of the headset for those who prefer some color contrast. The headband is adjustable to a variety of gamer skull sizes. It gives off a satisfying when you make adjustments, which I think adds class to an otherwise overly saturated market line. Structurally, the headset is not stiff and there is indeed some degree of flexibility. Flexibility is important for durability because just like how architects design skyscrapers to sway during an earthquake in order to disperse shock, dropping the void on the floor would lead to less of a chance of it shattering. Something to keep in mind if you intend to open up a computer shop with a brother who borrows your wireless headset so he can walk around the store with it on while live streaming. Another reason why flexibility is important is comfort. While wearing the Void, I don't feel that my ears are being clamped to death. In fact, it is quite the opposite. Both me and Anton think that the Void is actually too loose. You definitely notice this when moving your head from right to left quickly or while walking around with it on. It thus creates tension that it might fall off your head, even if that is unlikely. Unless you are the type of gamer who is more active. I can wear the Void for a very long time because of the breathable microfiber ear cups which surround my ear. Personally, I don't use headsets primarily because my ears tend to sweat and my ears usually hurt after only half an hour. But because the headset has breathable material which doesn't strangle your ears, using the Void has been a very comfortable experience for the most part. However, a lot of people prefer snug headsets. Just figure out what type of user you are before you buy it. Using mesh as the skin of the cups is a fantastic choice. I hate PU leather because it never lasts long, especially in our Philippine weather where heat and bodily oil will lead to peeling in a year or two. I learned my lesson after buying a Razer Kraken and this cheapo blue headset and two office chairs made of similar material. I mean, even if something is cheap, would you really want to keep something like this around? Regardless of what kind of budget you are working with, Try and avoid as much fake leather as much as possible. There are four easy access switches on the Void. A large button for each power and mute are clearly visible next to the Corsair logo on, and a volume rocker at the bottom of the left ear cup. The fourth switch is the microphone itself which turns off and on automatically as you bring down and up respectively. The buttons require a firm press which I prefer. This is an RGB headset. However, while I like minimalist designs, the RGB aspect of the headset is like a token add-on, just so they can say it's RGB. 
The small Corsair logo on both sides light up and can be synced alongside your other Corsair gear through the IQ program. You can do the basics like maintaining just one static color, rainbow it up, but the effect is very minimal. Headsets in particular are the trophies of our room, in which we can only see the color RGB factor when they are not in use. In short, the RGB decoration is so minimal that this should not be a reason for you to buy it. Even Corsair knows this, that's why the photos on their site unsurprisingly feature the void on top of their headset stand, which has almost quadruple the amount of RGB of the headset it's holding. The Void connects to your computer through a USB stick and communicates audio to the Void through a low latency of 2.4 GHz. I cannot notice any sound delay whatsoever. Games like Call of Duty and Rainbow Six require good timing through listening skills and I found the Dolby Surround sound to be very accurate. With my speakers, it is difficult to tell if footsteps are coming from above me or around me. The spatial audio accuracy of the void, however, is so dead on that I genuinely feel I'm hearing footsteps outside my room or above me. It, however, does not come close to the crisp, satisfying punch of the ROG Delta, which, in fairness to Corsair, is neither wireless and is almost double the price of the Void. Nevertheless, the Void is no slouch, and if you are the type to stream Spotify music from your PC, then the headset is something nice to relax with because of the deep bass and oomphs it can generate with lo-fi tunes. Because it does not have Bluetooth functionality though, you cannot use this headset with your phone, which might be a big concern for many who like to have a headset which you can take with you on the go. It also does not have a headphone jack, so the only way for it to work is through the USB stick. The microphone's quality is disappointing. My voice sounds tiny, and this is the reason as to why during Pwede Magtanong shows, I never use the microphone of my void. Let's weigh it off. Let's weigh it out. Ken, be here. Take that. Moving. I'll get this right side. Sit. Here, take that. Next side. I'm Moving. Hey, just... there, Enemies in the area. Hold steady. Hold steady. Get get that area. I'll get this area. Sit. I need to go for the flag here. Where's the flag? Boy? Objective on the field. Oh, Move there to it. There. there. Fire. Fire. Enemies in the area. Go. Moving. Cover me. Go. Easy. That's two wins. I have tried all possible ways to increase the audio, but to no avail. It isn't just the low volume of the sound. Upon research, I noticed that a number of people have voiced the same problem about the Void's microphone, and some have chosen to get third-party programs in order to boost the sound. I don't recommend anything which needs a second program which isn't from the manufacturer for it to work. This is the biggest drawback of the Void, and which you should seriously take into consideration before buying it. Got it! Got it! Woo! That was close. Corsair markets that the headset has 16 hours worth of battery, and I can vouch that it probably lasts a little longer than this. The headset comes with a stylized type A USB cable connection, and if you have a keyboard with a USB connector, you can have it charge while you continue your game. Or what I do sometimes is I use my power bank in case I need to charge it right away. I am satisfied with the battery life overall. In conclusion, the Corsair Void RGB wireless headset provides accurate surround sound, a sleek looking design, but a weak microphone and an overly subdued RGB style. I am satisfied with the headset, but not in any way blown away by it. It accomplishes the basics of what I wanted, a wireless experience coupled with a clutter-free desk, a good-looking prop, and good enough surround sound, but it does not excel in anything in particular. In fact, if I didn't already have a microphone, I would have been seriously irritated over the void, especially since at 5,000 pesos, this already markets itself as premium, which the microphone is definitely not. I'm gonna give this a 6.8 out of 10 because I truly do use it every day because it does improve my FPS gaming by a lot and the wireless functionality is very useful. But the premium price with a below average microphone is really pushing it. We want to thank our top fans, Asher Anima, Richard Onkinko, ITX Addict, John Occia, Christian Espinosa. Thank you so much for supporting our channel. We really greatly appreciate it.